Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A ruler 400 mm in diameter and weighing 400 newtons is to be subjected to pivoting motion about an HA by applying a force P as shown in the figure. Determine first the magnitude of horizontal force P passing through the center of the ruler and corresponding reaction exerted by the AJ. Okay, secondly, the magnitude of minimum force P and its direction for causing the pivoting motion about A. All right. So there is this roller whose weight is 400 newtons, obviously acting in the downward direction. It is resting on the ground and the point of contact it has with the ground is point C. It is also in contact with this block at point A. And there is a force P which is applied in the right hand side direction in a horizontal sort of a way, which is going to produce a sort of pivoting motion. Okay, it is going to produce a pivoting motion and when that pivoting motion happens, the point of contact at C breaks. Now, if the point of contact at C breaks, then you can say that the reaction, reaction at C is going to be equal to zero. The only reaction that we have to deal with is this RA. Now, this RA makes an angle of theta with the vertical. Right now, I'll be calculating the value of theta. So, you have to consider triangle OBA, okay? And cos theta will be equal to OB upon OA. So let us write this OB upon OA. Now if I can do this little construction um, in place of OB, I can write it OC minus BC. All right, something of this sort. And just need to put the value of OC. OC is 200 radii of roller and BC is how much? 47.5. And then OA is again radii of roller going to be equal to 200 millimeters. Let us put in all these values and let us try to solve this and theta shall finally work out as 40.3 in fact but i'm rounding it off to zero decimal places and i've taken it as 40 degrees so theta is equal to 40 degrees now i'll be resolving ra into its horizontal and vertical components so this is going to be the vertical component this is going to be ra cos 40 and one more component that this ra is going to have is to its left hand side in a horizontal way ra sin 40 okay now first part in the first part we have to find the magnitude of p and ra let us try to solve this okay let me change this pen color um, i'm going to be using a blue color all right now i'm going to be using this equation summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero and as soon as i use this i'll get a certain value okay so this is in the upward direction positive and this 400 newtons is in the downward direction negative so r a cos 40 minus um, 400 is equal to zero and if you try to solve this equation r a will be equal to 400 divided by cos 40 now let me try to solve this into a calculator 400 divided by cos 40 will be equal to 522.16 newtons let me get rid of this cos theta and all okay so that's the value of ra so we have got this this has been achieved secondly we have to get this p how can p be calculated so we have to use this equation of motion summation of all the forces in x is equal to zero so this P right hand side positive, this RA left hand side negative, P minus RA sine 40. P minus RA sine 40 equals to zero. So the value of P will be equal to RA sine 40 and RA has been computed as 522.16 multiplied by sine 40. And this is gonna be equal to 335.6 Newtons. So that's the value of P, that's the value of RA for condition number one. Second case, so what is the second case? So you have to find the minimum force P, okay? And its direction, that means the magnitude in Newtons and angle, okay? These are the two things that we are supposed to calculate. Okay, let us say that right now it is going to make an angle alpha with the horizontal. So there is going to be some force P, okay? Its magnitude will be very small, minimum, and it will be applied at a certain angle alpha with the horizontal. Now, if you, if you just try to think, if P is applied in the horizontal direction towards the right hand side, a lot of force is required. That force has been worked out as how much? 335.6. But there is a certain angle alpha on which this force P will be minimum. Okay. 
So we are looking for that angle basically. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be resolving this P into two components. It's, it's going to have a horizontal component P cos alpha. It's going to have a vertical component of this sort. This is going to be P sin alpha. So we have this first equation summation of f of x is equal to zero. So P cos alpha is towards the right hand side and hence positive. R is sine 40 is going to be negative since it is towards the left hand side. All of this is equal to zero and here you can get the value of Ra to be equal to P cos alpha divided by sine 40. I'm going to be using this value of Ra. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the second equation of equilibrium summation of f of y is equal to zero. So P sine alpha. All right. It's positive upper direction. 400. It is negative downward direction. Uh, anything else in the upper direction? We have this Ra cos 40. So let me write this initially plus Ra cos 40. Okay, then minus 400, it's in the negative direction. All of this shall be equal to zero. Let us write this again, P sin alpha plus Ra. So we have the value of Ra over here, P cos alpha over sin 40. So P cos alpha over sin 40 and multiplied by this is cos 40 plus is equal to shifting 400 towards the right hand side, it becomes positive. Now in the next step, I'll take P as common and I'll just write sine alpha plus cos alpha dot cos 40 by sine 40 will be cot 40. So cos alpha cot 40 is equal to 400. Okay. And finally you can write P something like this. P is equal to 400 whole divided by sine alpha plus cos alpha dot cot 40 that's it now what we are supposed to do is we have to find the minimum value of p now if p has to be minimum then this guy this has to be maximum okay only then p will turn out to be minimum fine if this has to be maximum what we need to do is we need to differentiate this term okay and then only the maximum value of alpha will turn out so we're going to be differentiating this with respect to alpha sine of alpha plus I'm, I'm basically differentiating the denominator plus cos alpha dot cot 40 and differentiating it equal to zero. So this is the concept that we learn in 12th grade in maxima minimum in differential calculus basically. So what uh, it turns out as d by d alpha of sin alpha will be cos alpha. All right. And d by d alpha of cos alpha will be negative of sin alpha negative of sin alpha dot cot 40 is equal to zero. Okay. So this can also be written as cos alpha is equal to sin alpha cot 40. If you can shift this sin alpha over to this side, it will become cos alpha over sin alpha and cos alpha over sin alpha is cot alpha. So I can write this as cot alpha is equal to cot 40. Okay. So cot and cot cancel out. Ultimately the value of alpha will work out as 40 degrees. Okay. And if you put the value of alpha is equal to 40 degrees in this equation over here, that is alpha is equal to 40 degrees over here, you will get the minimum value of P, which will be equal to 257 Newtons approximately. That's it. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.